Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Wizarding World Harry Potter from McFarlane Toys. Alright, so, once again, this is one of my daughter's uh, figures, one of her collectibles. Uh, she was kind enough to let me review it for the show, because I am running low on things to review. I don't have an unlimited supply of finances to be able to buy things every week to review. We have Harry Potter here, Wizarding World down here. This for ages 12 and up. Got the Harry Potter logo. There's the side, the other side, and the back, we've got Harry Potter, we've got Hermione Granger, we've got Ron Weasley, and we've got He Who Shall Not Be Named. So anyway, let's go ahead and open him up and take a look at Harry Potter. First and foremost, here is the backdrop that he comes with in his packaging. We'll go ahead and zoom in on that and let you guys take a look at it. This, of course, is undesirable. Number one, Harry Potter, the uh, reward uh, paper. So anyway, there's that. And now we'll go ahead and take Harry Potter out of his package. And my daughter did say that I could go ahead and open this up and do a full review on him. And I will be putting him back in the package when I'm done. All right, guys, so here he is, Harry Potter, and the magical buck that he creates. I believe that was in the Deathly Hollows, I wanna say. I could be wrong. Um, like I said, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I've watched the movies. I've really only got dad knowledge of the movies. So uh, my my daughter is more of the uh, Harry Potter fan in the household along with my wife. But here we have Harry and he comes with his wand. He comes with a display stand. Uh, he also comes with these two clips. I'm not sure what the clips are for. And the magical buck, which you've got to attach the antlers. You've got to attach this pole and the stand um, so that he can stand up. We'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on Harry for right now so you guys can see all the detail and then once we're done we'll go ahead and zoom in on the buck and so you can see all the detail on him.
All right, so let's go ahead and bring Harry back in here a moment, and we'll take a look at all his articulation. Now, one thing you guys have to keep in mind is he is extremely poseable, so that means that he's also quite awkward, even with the display stand. Uh, we'll go ahead and take him off his display stand. Um, he has tons of articulation, so even with his display stand, he may fall. So anyway, we'll start off at the feet. His toes, he has toe tilt, as you can see there, on both feet. The left foot is a little bit tighter than the right foot. He has a ball joint at the ankle. It can go to the side, the other side, up, down, spin all the way around. He's got a double knee bend. Come, you can bring it almost all the way up to his butt. And that's on both legs. You can get it up to there, or you can bring it all the way up and use that second joint. Okay. Then he's got the legs. His jacket does move a little bit. So you can bring the legs up about that far. Um, one at a time though. Uh, be maybe you can do it about there if you want to do them both at the same time. But if you want to do one at a time, you can bring it up just a little bit higher. Okay. Uh, his legs do go back to there. They go forward about that far. And then he has no waist swivel, but he does have an upper torso swivel, which makes it kind of awkward because the zipper doesn't always line up when you turn like that. Uh, his jacket is made out of a somewhat flexible plastic. He has the double joint at the elbows, which allows him to bend that far. He's also got the bicep swivel. He has A double ball joint at the shoulder as you can see he's got this part here and this part so you can come up go all the way around come down and that's on both arms now this arm you want to be careful because with all this articulation he could easily break. Um, I'm finding out. Now his head can turn all the way around. He can look up that far. Look down that far. And the way his neck is. He, his neck is. He's kind of leaning forward with his neck. As you guys can see there. His glasses do not come off. And you can slightly make out the lightning bolt scar underneath his bangs there. The detail is really nice. Uh, McFarland Toys is known for being able to uh, sculpt in a lot of detail on the figures they make. Uh, this foot keeps wanting to tilt to the side. So he definitely does need his display stand. But the detail is really nice. Again, he comes with his wand, which will zoom in there. It doesn't really have any wood grain or anything to it. But you could tell it's his wand. And the peg hole is on the bottom of this foot. 
and he goes on his display stand. You want to be careful and hold the entire foot when placing him on that peg. Otherwise, you are liable to break the foot off. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that magical buck. Yeah, they didn't really think this through whenever they did his joints. <laughs> We'll take him off his display stand for right now. Now we'll take a look at that magical buck that Harry, the past Harry, thought was his father, but it turned out to be him from the future. As you can see, it comes with a clear plastic pole, clear display, uh, display stand. It is translucent. You do have to attach the antlers separately. Uh, and I believe they did that just so that the antlers didn't break or anything in transit. But the detail is very nice on this thing. And as I said, it also comes with two clips. I'm not exactly sure what the clips are for. It doesn't really have any instructions with it. But there you have it, guys. Let's go ahead and bring him just like that. There you have it, guys. The uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter McFarlane Toys. Harry Potter for ages 12 and up. I want to give a huge thank you to my daughter who let us... Uh, review this today hope you guys enjoyed take care if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched, I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.